My name is James McKernan from the Department of Theatre at York University at the School of Arts, Media, Performance and Design. I made this paint wash station a while ago and here's the promised video to show you how to use it. The first five gallon pail here has dirty water in it. The second one is fairly empty and I use that as a spinning area. So the goal here is to keep more of the water soluble paint out of the water table. I think we can all agree that uh, the less external things we stick in our water, the better for everybody, not just the environment, for us as people. Um, I think it's one of those no brainers. Uh, one of the common ways people wash uh, paint sleeves is to uh, take them to the sink and to wash them and spin them in the sink or wash them there and if they spin them in the garbage can. Now this is the way I've uh, been shown how to wash them to keep as much of this, uh, in this case latex and other dyes and bonding agents, out of the uh, water table as possible. So I have a, a well used sleeve here. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do uh, to clean it is I'm going to take the all-in-one tool with the round end and I'm just going to scrape off or squeegee off as much of the paint as possible back into the can. You actually, these, I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise considering how much paint goes on your walls, but the, the sleeves themselves hold a lot of paint and there's just no point in throwing it away uh, however you clean it. So to reclaim as much of this as possible, it also helps you uh, go further with your, your paint supplies. Now this was shown to me from a same painter on a feature film and uh, this kind of setup works uh, at production speed when you have a dozen scenic painters working at a time. You may need more than one uh, paint setup for theater. You have a couple, three painters uh, at a time and this system will work perfectly well for them. So you're going to take the sleeve off and I'm just going to put it to the side for a second. I'm going to take the cage and I'm going to immerse the cage in the water and I'm going to rinse it as much as possible in the water to just use the dirty water to get as much of the latex off the cage as possible. Once I've done that, I rattle it around, get as much off as possible, and then I just give it a wipe with a rag so that there isn't paint buildup. So the next part of this is I take the sleeve itself and I immerse it in the uh, dirty water and I start washing it. I fill it with water and I squeegee it as much as possible throughout the whole uh, sleeve. I also will run my fingers down inside it to wipe away as much of the paint as possible and keep it inside the five gallon pail. And then I'm going to take my spinner and I take my spinner and I put it in the second part and I spin off as much of that as possible. You can start seeing the white of the sleeve coming through and all my, my whole goal here is to let as much of the water onto the sleeve as possible and to rinse out as much as possible over and over again and that will loosen up the latex and it'll make it easier for it to spin out. So I can start to see a bunch of the white here so my next step is to come over to the sink and to rinse it with clean water trying to keep as much of that latex out as possible. 
So I'm, all I'm doing now is I'm running the water over the sleeve, filling it with clean water, and then I'm taking it over to the wash station. And then what I do is I work my hands on the sleeve, and I'm trying to work out as much of the paint as possible. Now this is by no means the only way to do this, but it is a successful way to do this. So you can see quite a lot of the white in the sleeve. There's a little bit of dirt at the ends here. I'm going to try and concentrate on that. I have wiped a little bit of old paint onto the sleeve, uh, which I'm going to endeavor to get off in this next rinse. So I'm going to move back to the sink. And I'm going to run my hands over it. And then I'm going to spin it, hopefully, one last time. I take a rag, mindful that it doesn't have a dirty paint spot on it, and I'm just going to give it a bit of a wipe down, and then clean the inside of the sleeve. Now, some sleeves are made out of cardboard, and they're not really meant to be, like the interior sleeve is made out of cardboard, and they're not really meant to be reused and washed. They're not really good quality sleeves for multiple uses. These ones have more of a plastic interior. And I think this is about a 10 a mil pile. And there you have a nicely clean sleeve. Brush wise, if I were to take a brush, it would be the same process. You have to, this is old paint, so it's kind of gloopy. My apologies. I'm just working some of the paint here. Uh, another painter friend of mine stopped cleaning his paint trays. Instead, he empties out as much as he can back into the uh, paint can and then he will flatten out the paint so it doesn't become flaky and he lets that dry overnight and he, once it gets to a certain level it's going to be easy to peel off the paint but for now you can reuse this with different colored paint as long as you let it dry between uses and that way we actually keep the water out of the, out of the paint of the water table when cleaning our other tools. So here's our brush. It is uh, fairly filled with paint. And the spinner also works that you can clean brushes in it. And you're going to do it the same way. So then you're going to work. Of course, you would use the all in one to scrape off the paint if it is a full brush. This one wasn't very full, it was just well coated. And all I'm doing is I'm working my way through the whole brush with the water, down in the water. And I'm trying to loosen up whatever paint is left inside it. If you do use the all-in-one to help clean it out at this point, go very gently. Um, the forks here can be used to work paint out. But if you do it too much, you'll actually trash the paintbrush. So it should be used as little as possible, but it is a good tool to get a lot of paint out of them. So once you're here, actually that was pretty good. Yeah, actually that's pretty clean. Normally you'll have to do that two or three times, but this wasn't very heavily coated. So this is done. Make sure to wipe down the brush to avoid buildup. And you're able to use your brush for a very long time. So thank you very much. Uh, and I hope that uh, you find this helpful to keep uh, your paint out of the water table. Thank you.